uh, your background in company, first with Matt. I'm one of the co-founders of Hashgraph. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> My co-founder, Lehman Baird, and I have been working together since 1993, 25 years. We did research for the U.S. Air Force Senior Scientist for Machine Learning. So we have machine learning background. We taught at the Air Force Academy, computer science, managed a massive program for the Missile Defense Agency in the United States. Lehman and I decided to become entrepreneurs. We started two companies in identity, sold one to a Fortune 500, one to private equity. I managed a product security for that Fortune 500 and then eventually went to work as head of labs and architecture for another major identity vendor. And Lehman went to work on solving this problem Today, we call it Hashgraph. He went to work in 2012 and, and solved it in 2015. Okay, very good. What about you, Tom? My background is less technical. I went to um, Yale University and Columbia Business School, and I've been in finance ever since. So I started off in investment banking and then moved to investing in technology in 1998. From there, I moved into um, hedge funds as well as private equities, and I found this company via investment. And so I actually found Manson Lehman loved what they were doing, invested in the company, and then got to know them better over time and joined the company um, to help build out the public ledger, which we'll talk about a little bit. And then also um, other responsibilities came up, financing, fundraising, et cetera. So it's just getting more and more involved with them. And I guess the more people get to know Manson Lehman, the more excited they are to work with them and the more um, impressed they are with the technology and what they've developed. The more, the, more, the more technologically advanced you are, the more you know about blockchain, the more you know about math, the more you like this solution. Mm -hmm. And that's a very rare thing where the more expert you are, the more conviction you have in this. And that, that, that's what, that's what um, makes me most excited about it. It is an alternative to blockchain. It's not blockchain, it's an entirely different thing but it solves the same set of problems that blockchain solves, but it does it much better performance and much better security. For example, where blockchain globally, Bitcoin blockchain globally can process about five transactions per second, we can process hundreds of thousands of transactions per second. So there's a huge difference in terms of performance and then in terms of security, we achieve the best that one can achieve in the world of distributed consensus. Mm -hmm. Practically, what that means is that there are categories of attacks um, that would work on other platforms that won't work on us. Mm -hmm. So we have the best security and the best performance in, in the market. Okay, so I'm saying that Hashgraph is the future of blockchain. Yes. Do you agree with that? Well, so I think that with every new category of technology, there is an innovation mm -hmm. that makes it clear to the market that something new is now possible. Blockchain demonstrated that. Blockchain demonstrated we can do things in a new way that wasn't previously possible. Mm -hmm. However, blockchain as a technology uh, has some real limitations, some severe limitations. And what Hashgraph has done, or what it is, is just the evolution of the industry to a superior technology in the same space. So yes, I think that blockchain as a technology will diminish, Hashgraph will increase. Can you give us a specific example? Because it's a bit abstract in a way. Yes, yes I can. We just announced a week ago in New York City that we're building a public ledger, yeah. Hedera, Hedera Hashgraph. With Hedera Hashgraph, we will be able to process hundreds of thousands of cryptocurrency transactions per second. Because there's no proof of work in the technology like there is with blockchain, because of that, it's possible for you to make a micropayment. That opens up entirely new business models. Uh, that leads to my last question. What is the ultimate goal of Hedera, yeah. we want to change the way the internet works. We are in, on a mission to maximize what the internet can be in the future, and we believe that this new computing model, this distributed computing model, is going to have profound social impact, a societal impact, and we want to lead that charge and be the ones that make society benefit from this new technology category. Absolutely, we will have an office in Seoul. This is our first time for each of us in Seoul, and it will not be the last. We, we haven't, we haven't, 
uh, done that yet, mm -hmm. but part of the reason for the trip here is to make it clear that we are hiring and that we will end up having an office in Seoul. Within this year? Yes, probably this year. Okay, yes. then looking forward to seeing you once again. Thank you very much for sharing your insights. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. 지금까지 블록미디어 함께 하셨습니다. Bye bye. Say bye to our viewers. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you.